What? This is Courtney. Courtney gets excited about everything. But today, Courtney decided that she was not excited about headphones. I like show and tell, right? I like when people come over, they get to try the headphones. Usually it's like, whoa, I never knew it could be this good, right? And I think that's fun. Am I making up for a lost childhood of never actually having done a show and tell as a kid? Anyway, so I was getting reactions like this. I can hear like the vocals better than I'd say like my AirPods. And this. I want to say there was piano in there, but I don't remember. And this. Like the instrumental sounded very good. She even decided to throw some insults my way. I like when you were talking to me, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, most people like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> and as wrench for that, there's this clip too. Okay, so in comparison. These ones are a little bit heavier, which I don't know if I would like. I think I prefer the plastic. How do I feel? I feel like everything I just said was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> In Courtney language speak, this ranges from complete boredom to mild enthusiasm. So I wasn't quite getting exactly what I wanted. In fact, the only real reaction I got out of this girl was when I told her the price of the Diana. What? You're lying. No. Nuh uh. These are not $5,000. I swear to God. What the fuck? Yeah. Nuh uh. What are they made out of? Who's gonna buy headphones for $5,000? Which is totally fair, to be honest. But I was determined. I wanted to get her to like the headphone shit. But I knew the headphones were not the way. So I brought out the big guns, the SVS Ultra Towers. And with a big speaker that has a big sound, you need a big song. So I decided to open straight out of the gate with no warning whatsoever, the song Mountains by Hans Zimmer. Whoa. Blast this shit. I love it. Kind of touch made me chase. The first song was so... Give me a word. That was dope as fuck. That's what I think. Can't say that on YouTube, so I'll, I'll rephrase. I don't know how to rephrase. <laughs> now, I only had two speakers playing here, but I thought it'd be sick to kind of mess with their senses a little bit with songs that are just mastered incredibly well and can really sound like they're not just two pairs of speakers. Um, not just your standard center image, but things that sound like they're coming from literally behind you or to your far left or your far right. Put his hands on my face, kind of touch. Freaking out, like right in my ear. It's like if I'm listening to like a, a song where it starts in one ear and then wraps around the head and goes to the other ear. That's what it felt like. I feel like I'm in school watching my teacher write on the chalkboard. What? It sounds like I'm in front of like a a school orchestra or something. Just like random instruments like like the xylophones on one side and then just just a bunch of random stuff on the other side. The day you played and it pleased the Lord. Just, it feels like there could be someone singing right in front of me. And like, I can like hear them doing the little acapella thing, like just right behind my ears. Nice. I like that I can hear it like just right behind my ears. And like before he started actually rapping, like felt like it was wrapping around my head. Like it goes from one ear and then to the other. And then again, when he actually starts rapping, it just sounds like he's right in front of me. It's so insane to me that they're that distance apart, but it sounds like it's just coming straight at me. Like, I'm gonna sound like super, I already forgot the word, but it just, it feels like she could be singing right in front of me, but it's weird because they're like spaced out. 
What was really interesting about the speakers that didn't happen with the headphones is that she was expecting the headphones to have more bass, but it seemed like on the speaker, she was like, the least interesting thing was the bass, even though there was a lot of it. It was cool to her, but not necessarily the most cool thing. So it was cool to introduce like something else she hadn't heard before. So you're telling me that you could get those two, that speaker and the amp for 3000, all this, and then those headphones over there, $5,000. I suppose they're for different, but $5,000. I had very high hopes for the speakers. And like, I was expecting something really great, but like it exceeded what I thought it was gonna be. Like I knew it was gonna send me for a trip. I just didn't know it was gonna be that kind of trip. Smash that like button. <laughs> uh, okay. Don't put that in there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.